Hey guys and welcome to My Gaming Journal where we examine video games in the format of a daily journal. Tonight we examine Resident Evil Village and see how long it took for me to beat it. Spoiler warning for those who've not played the game. Please enjoy. Dear Journal, So the game takes place three years after Resident Evil 7. Things seem to be a bit of a rough patch for Ethan and his family. Typical stuff, marriage, a newborn, intense military training, and finally your wife being shot in the head by the series protagonist. We all go through it, it's part of life. Anyway, Ethan is kidnapped by Chris Redfield and they immediately get into an accident from there, Ethan encounters a small town, a village if you will, where they are attacked by some were zombies. But you have bigger problems to worry about than that when you have to fight the lords of the village, ranging from the Locust Sisters, step on me, Donna Beneviento, step on me, Moro, step on me, Heisenberg, please God, step on me, and of course, Lady Demetrice. But don't worry, Ethan is a skilled soldier, ready for anything, and... Huh, what am I gonna do now? I guess I could just put it back on, see if that works. Yep, we're good to go. Within those boss fights though, Resident Evil is at its best with experimenting different types of horror, and the first person camera is a good fit for that. We are now at the halfway point, Let's see what happens next. Hey, remember Chris Redfield? He's still a character. You finally learned that he killed an imposter Mia disguised by the final boss of the game, Mother Miranda. The game turns into some weird fanfic now where Baby Rose has magical powers and Miranda wants to exploit that. Also, Ethan apparently died at Resident Evil 7, and now is just a pile of mold. To which Chris steps in, and the game turns into Call of Duty! Finally, Ethan dies for real by blowing himself up, destroying Miranda in the village, leaving Chris to take care of the real Mia and Rose the baby. Flash forward, Rose is a teen visiting her daddy's grave under the care of Chris's team. Cut to black, we're done. Overall, Resident Evil Village does a great job at genre jumping when it comes to its style and gameplay that complements the unique setting and characters despite the story faltering when it comes to its focus on Ethan Winters and Chris Redfield. This either should have been a self-contained story like Seven or should have been similar to Two with multiple playthroughs with multiple characters. Also, we needed more Lady Demetrice, not just being the first boss and then done. That being said, the game is fun and worth playing, which is why I'm giving this an 8.2 out of 10. Now, tune in next time, where we examine Ratchet and Clanked Rift Apart for the PlayStation 5. See you then.